можно ли назвать магию эгрегором? Is it possible to say that magic is an egregor, or is it some sort of a special evolutional process of gaining knowledge and power? I will answer you, dear colleague Eol, magic is not an egregor. Magic is the power of gods. Their directed thought, their directed consciousness. Meaning gods as a representation of consciousness, as well as archaic elemental forces, the functionality of which can be called consciousness in a sense that we usually would use this word as. But egregors are formed on magical currents. They can't be formed on anything else. They take a small element of thought, an informational element, as a grain of sand that finds itself within a shell and something starts growing around it. That is why any egregor is a consequence of magic but not magic in its essence. Long time ago egregors were created as a certain instrument that would allow God's ideas to get implemented more efficiently. Because egregor is like a distributor, as if having a thousand nozzles, it distributes information into various consciousnesses, into various people. What was it like a long time ago? Here is a person, here is his God. They start their conversation. They converse for a long time. The God gives him his packet, and while a person decodes it, translates it, years would go by, whole entire years. It is a very ineffective interaction. That is why the egregorial world was designed, and the actual principle of an egregor was created in order to facilitate this distribution, so that the civilizational processes designed by gods would occur more effectively. Because every project has a deadline, even the ones of the gods. So it happens, as always, as it usually happens when a servant becomes a master, when a master puts so much trust into a servant, that the latter overthrows his master. But Belshazzar that very night by his own men was killed outright. Read the story about the Merovingian dynasty and how they were overthrown, removed from the dynasty lineage by the butler, Pepin the Short, a servant, a clerk, who simply made a deal with other egregorial systems, with the popes, for instance, with the Vatican, and here we have it, a whole new dynasty. And where are the Merovingers? Where are the bearers of blood of the ancient gods? Gone. This is how it usually happens. That is why you should avoid substituting the concepts. They are connected, of course, but not connected by a straight logic, as we would imagine it.